and welcome to the South Carolina Business Review. This is Mike Switzer. One of the highest paying, most in-demand jobs available to non-four-year college graduates is that of a welder, which is why our next guest's vocational school recently opened a new $4.5 million welding technology center. Caleb Fullwood is the welding program director at Midlands Technical College, and he joins us now by phone from his office at the facility in West Columbia. Caleb, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Tell us more about the welding program, first of all, there at Midlands Tech. We have two major departments. One of them is our corporate and containing education program. That one is, is broken up into several certificates. A lot of the students that take those courses do so because the time available runs in the morning, afternoon, and evening. So you can typically work a full-time job and take those courses. They run usually five days a week, three hours a day. We also have our academic welding program. We now have a two-year degree in welding that goes live in January. It's going to be six semesters. It's broken up into two certificates, a welding cutting fundamentals certificate and then a qualification certificate. It's going to have fabrication, weld repair. We do flux core, spray transfer, stick, TIG, MIG. We teach all the fundamentals. You don't have to have any prior experience for any of our classes. And now tell us about the new welding center. It's 12,000 square feet. It's on the airport campus. It just opened up in July, so, you know, the paint is still drying in here, but we've got 64 brand-new state-of-the-art welding booths. They're all six foot by six foot, so they're much larger than your standard booth. We have a, a, a fabrication area where we have iron workers and band saws for material processing. We have a covered outdoor area where our, our students grind and, and prep their material. Every single booth does just about every welding process, so we're not limited. And that's new for us. We're really excited about the new facility. And now tell us about the job market right now for welders. Is it still hot? Oh, it is It is hotter now than it ever has been. I've had five companies local to Midlands contact me this week, and they all came and spoke with the students. We've got more partnerships. As soon as you walk into the new facility, we have a 30-foot-long a mural. Uh, our big partner, Avantec, they hire a lot of our graduates. They build filtration systems for nuclear stations. We've had tons of in- industry partners come and talk with the students. There's a big company in Charleston that's building submarines and, and aircraft carriers. They're looking for hundreds of welders over the next five years. So the, the job market right now is there's a lot of opportunities there. What is the pay range? So that varies based on your skill set. And if you have any prior welding experience or in industry in manufacturing or construction, our industry is really broken up into, into two big categories. One is construction and one is manufacturing. Manufacturing is that job where working nine to five, you may work a 10 to 12 hour shift, but you get to come home every night. Starting wages there is is anywhere between 18 and probably 23 starting an hour. Um, Some of those companies go as high as 35, $40 an hour with someone that has a lot of experience and and puts in the time. And then construction is for, you know, someone that wants to travel and, and get out in what we call shutdown work where someone will you have a chemical plant or a paper mill or or some facility that's shutting down a portion of their plant so that they can do repairs. There's large construction companies that that go in and do a major shutdown. They'll be working 12 hour days, seven days a week. The pay for those jobs is 30 plus, just depending on how far you're going to travel. And then a lot of those construction jobs also offer per diem for living expenses and cover the cost of you traveling. And I understand that the governor has recently announced a tuition assistance program. He did. He covers a lot of different industries, but welding is definitely in there. It is a needs-based grant. There's also, for students coming right out of high school that have 3.0 and meet all the other criteria. there's life scholarship, there's Pell Grant, there's lottery tuition assistance, there's quick job scholarship. So there's a lot of funding available for tuition for academic and corporate and continuing education classes. Well, Caleb, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Thank you for having me. 
Caleb Fullwood is the welding program director at Midlands Technical College. He spoke to us from the new $4.5 million welding technology center in West Columbia. We will have a link to the program posted at our webpage so you can learn more, SouthCarolinaPublicRadio.org, where you can also hear this program again, too, with the South Carolina Business Review. This is Mike Switzer. The views expressed on the South Carolina Business Review do not necessarily reflect those of South Carolina Public Radio.